So uh, yeah, commuting to work, and now it's uh, well, it's pretty dark in the morning. I'm in work at eight o'clock, eight a.m. So I get up quite early. So when I'm setting off from home, um, it is you know, uh, well, not pitch black at the moment, but pretty dark. And no doubt when the clocks change, uh, that will be the difference, won't it? But I was driving to work the other morning, uh, a short motorway section I've got, and uh, just tootling along, you know, 60 miles an hour in the slow lane, and there's a, um, a wagon in front of me, and I'm watching this wagon in the distance, and I'm, it's looking, I'm thinking it's going from the left onto the, almost onto the hard shoulder and back again. So what he was up to, I don't know, I thought, well, either he's looking at a phone, or doing something because he was all over the road or he was nodding asleep so anyway I kept well back behind him he eventually belatedly gave a left turn indicator to say that he was um, coming the left uh, onto the slip road on the left but you'll see from when he indicates he comes over if it had been on the outside lane on the outside of him as a motorcyclist he probably wouldn't have seen me so I don't know whether he was on a phone or just trying to read a map or whatever. It does make you wonder though sometimes, doesn't it? about a camera um, as you probably uh, remember previous vlog the catch went there there was a catch that went over here but I just opened it up one day and it broke off so I did try to uh, glue it but it wasn't working so anyway I ended up sawing the catch the catch mechanism off there and sanding that down so one of the things I had to do is as you can see this is the um, gizmo for charging it and memory card and microphone socket so when I actually have it on the bike it shut up and I have it on uh, a tripod screen tripod mount thing which you'll see in a few minutes on another section of the video so I made this makeshift velcro strap to go around it just a bit of sticky velcro so I'll pull this round fasten that on uh, and I've had it out in the wet uh, and there's no water ingression into the surprisingly enough so working fine so yeah still going strong like the camera um, I didn't think of uh, using this um, socket USB socket here it's in there somewhere isn't it and uh, plugging it permanently into the 12 volt on my bike because I've got a cigarette lighter socket there but um, it could do from where it's mounted as you'll see with a video later but I've been just been using my internal battery so so long as I remember to keep it uh, as long as I remember to keep it 
it charged uh, not a problem it's fine so uh, yeah a bit bigger than the other cameras are indeed a GoPro but it's pretty robust um, nice chunky feel to it so yeah uh, and well worth the price impressed with it so far actually stopped uh, raining now um, as it does but we've only got about an hour before it goes dark so uh, yeah I was uh, waffling on about that camera wasn't I uh, the, the, the Predator cam which I'm filming on at the moment and this is actually where I've got it mounted on the um, this actual mount here came with something else with another camera so I've used it by fastening it on the so it fastens on pretty well but you could see with the proximity of it um, to the uh, actual 12 volt thing but I could actually plug put the camera on there and then plug it into the 12 volt there sort of a permanent supply this thing if I've not shown you before is the mount for the Zumo sat nav the plug for it is down here in the from that and that usually plugs into the the only thing I've found to the detriment of that is that sometimes on the if you're on the side roads it's really bouncy it has a habit of just coming loose it gives you warning if the power's come off to tell you it's going to shut down so you just got to push it in but I I, I, um, I thought against wiring it in uh, permanently to the battery I set this up originally as a temporary thing but um, it works well I've been through Scotland with it like that uh, and it seems to work okay and of course that's the charger thing to me uh, to the oximizer which I've got over there uh, this is all going to change around shortly because uh, I'm we're having a move uh, not too far but there we are so it's going to be a uh, there's going to have to be a mega garage sorting out session <laughs> okay Turned out nice again, hasn't it? <laughs>